we have got a super fun combo today of glutes and abs. We are gonna be working to build, strengthen, and perk things up. So make sure you've got your moderately heavy dumbbells optional today. If you have your booty band or mini resistance band, make sure to have that as well. And we're gonna get right into our warm up. We're gonna get this warm up started with five exercises to make sure the glutes and the core are ready to go. We're gonna start with a lateral squat. We're gonna take it two steps to the right and then two steps to the left. Shoulders rolled down and back. And here we go. So with your squat, you don't have to take it quite as deep right now, but as you work through this, as those muscles start to get warm, take that squat a little bit deeper. And keeping that chest up, nice and slow through all of our warm-up exercises today. The point of a warm-up is to get your body ready, to get the blood flowing. This is gonna help you lift heavier right from the start, also help to prevent injuries. So, so glad that you were taking these few minutes here to get warm with me. Last time, two to the left, and then we're gonna go into a good morning and up. Good, so hands on your hips, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, slight bend in the knee, keep that back flat, chest is gonna come down towards the ground, drive those hips back, and then squeeze up, squeeze the glutes here, and then down, weight stays in the heels, and up. So we've got superset training today. I absolutely love supersets. It is such a fun way to train. The time goes by so quickly. And then the fact that it's hypertrophy helping to build that definition is just like, ah, oh, it's like wonderful. So I am so excited to train glutes and abs. I just think that's also such a fun combo. So this workout is gonna go by fast. It's gonna be fun. We're also gonna start to build that definition and some oomph in the bum and also tighten up the core. Two more, then we're gonna go into lateral lunges. One more. Good. Should be starting to feel warm now through that lower body. Take the legs out. And we're just gonna take it from side to side here. Nice and slow. So the structure for our superset workout today. All of our supersets are going to be um, working that same muscle group. So we're gonna have all supersets for glutes and then we're gonna have all supersets for the obliques, the abs. We're gonna start with the glutes. We have four supersets. We're going to repeat the supersets two times through, working for 45, rest in between supersets 30, rest in between the two sets of the supersets. That's so many sets and S's and it's 45. And then we're gonna move on to abs. We're gonna have four supersets that we work through one time, working for 45, rest for 30. So that's the structure today, very simple. Things are gonna move quick with supersets. You know, with a superset, it's those two exercises back to back with very little rest, just enough for you to switch weights if you need, get into position to go again. Last one here, then we're gonna do a standing crunch with alternating knee pulls. So bring those legs in, starting to get the core warm now. Hands behind your head. We're gonna bring that knee in and crunch, squeeze, and then down. And I, I mentioned at the very beginning, our exercise band or booty band, your resistance band. So if you have those, those are gonna stay on the entire time through our glute supersets. That'll just stay right above your knees. So if you have that, you can add it, not necessary, but will give you just a little bit more resistance during the training today. Good, couple more, then we'll do arm circles and we will be ready to go. Last one, good, big arm circles back. Wanna make sure the arms are ready too because for these first couple of sets, we're gonna be lifting heavy. We do wanna train with heavy weight today when we're using our weight. Some of the exercises, we won't use weight at all. Good, here's three, two, and one. Awesome, so let's get into our first superset. That first superset is going to be a goblet squat. Again, if you have that band right above the knees, then we're gonna go into a low lateral walk. So similar to that first exercise we started with to warm up, but this time we're adding weight, we're adding our band, and we're gonna keep it low. So that's gonna be the combo. Grab your weight, get your things ready, get, your, the, get the band on above your knee if you're using that, and let's do this. All right, I'm getting my weights for the, lat, the low lateral walk. I'm gonna use two on that one. Getting my dumbbell for that goblet squat. Band on. Whew. Right above the knee. Grab that weight. We've got about five seconds in me go. So shoulders rolled down and back. Chest is up and let's squat. Here we go. 
Good, so really think about the glutes here. Down and squeeze. Good. Now if you're using that band, keep pressure on that band. Make sure the band is not pulling your knees together. So you wanna keep those big toes in line. Whew. Just slightly out, so again, we don't want the knees caving in with that band. Good, back is also flat as you squat down. So drop that bum down, chest up, and press. Getting ready for that lateral walk. We're gonna keep it in that low squat. Take it two right, two left. Good, here's three, two, and one. Keep the band on. Or I should say you have the option to keep the band on. And here we go, so take it low and then walk it for two and then back. Good. Try to keep a smooth tempo here. So that pace is the same as you're working from right to left. Let's drop it down a little bit lower. Come on, keep it low. Almost there, then we're gonna get 30 seconds. We repeat these two exercises. Keep that form, chest up, bum down. Good, here it is, three, two, and one. Oh, awesome, back into that goblet squat. You've got about 20 seconds to go. Breathe, anytime you need to grab a drink, dry off. It's gonna to be tough today when we're working these bigger muscle groups. So listen to your body and do that. Adjust your weight if you need. 10 seconds out. Whew. Grabbing our weight. Dumbbell right at the chest, elbows tucked in. We're gonna squat in three, two, and one. Here we go. So with the goblet squat, make sure arms are not coming out, but nice and tucked here. Good, down, squeeze. Get those glutes activating today. So really think about it. You're down, press through the heels, squeeze, tighten up the glutes, and then down. Low lateral squat, walk next. Just about 10 out now, so keep it up. Here we are, three, two, one, adjust your weight. And take it low and let's walk. Here we go. Along with keeping that smooth tempo, try to take your steps about the same distance apart. So we don't need some being really tiny, we don't need some being super large, just about right in the middle. Good. Oh, it is burning. You've got this. Almost there. Keep it low. Come on, last time for this. Push it out. Good. All right, here it is. Three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna bring it on the mat. No more dumbbells, so we can put the dumbbells away. Again, keep that band on. We are gonna superset one side and then the other of fire hydrants. So, bring it down. The most attractive exercise of all, the fire hydrant. Uh, always an awkward, awkward one, but always a fabulous one for the glutes. So with that fire hydrant, you can be up on your hands or you can drop it down to your forearms, whatever feels comfortable. Make sure that back is staying flat so we don't want to round our back here. Either way, on the forearms or on the hands. We're getting ready, one side superset with the other. Here we go in three, two, and one. Good, as you lift, try to get that leg parallel to the floor. So we don't need a baby fire hydrant, we want the full size fire hydrant. We're lifting and lowering. Again, I'm making it so much better, right? <laughs> if it wasn't awkward, it wouldn't be one of my workouts, okay? It's just how it goes. <sighs> Come on, lift, feel that squeeze in the glutes. 
Almost there. We're gonna switch it up here in three, two, and one. Let's switch it up, here we go. Make sure those knees are staying in line as well. So as you lift, you don't want your knee to come back. You don't want it to come in forward and tuck in. Just lifting straight up and straight down. Let's do good news, great news, okay? <laughs> great news is you are over halfway through this set. Good news is we get one more chance at this one. Yay! It all depends on how you look at it, right? <laughs> Almost there. Three, two, and one. Might be nice to just drop the bum back, drive the hips back, give a little stretch there. Grab a drink or dry off if you need it. Rest is 20 here. We're gonna bring it back down. We can do it. We got it. Let's go. 10 seconds. <laughs> the bum is gonna be so happy today. <laughs> All right, five seconds. One side and then the other. Fire hydrant. Here we go. Right out of the gate from this second set. Now, because we can already tell the glutes are feeling it. Make sure that form is still good. So do not let your back round or arch down. Keep everything straight. So if you need to come up on your hands, if you find that gives you a little bit more stability to keep that back flat, you can definitely do that. Again, whichever is more comfortable for you and allows you to keep good form. Oh, getting ready to switch it. Good, here's three, two, one. Oh, right over to the other side. The amazing news is now this is the last set. Here we go, lift and lower. breathing. It's amazing what you can do without dumbbells, right? There are just certain exercises where body weight is all you need. But if you do find that if you don't have your mini um, resistance band or booty band and you're like, eh, this is kind of simple, that would be the perfect time to think about investing. Here's three, two, and one into those mini booty bands or resistance bands. They're super inexpensive and they do not take up much space, but they add so much to your workout. So if you don't have them, just consider those. I'll leave a link down in the description just in case you wanna grab some. Okay, here we go. We are getting ready to go into rear leg lifts or kickbacks. We are going to be same position here as we were with the fire hydrants. You can either use your forearms or up on your arms, but this time that leg is gonna be straight lifting. We're gonna work one side and then the other. A lot of unilateral training right now. So let's get into position. Again, that's gonna be our supersets. We'll be able to move right quick into that next one. Hands or forearms going here in three. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, and let's lift. And if you do have that mini resistance band on or the booty band, you can drop the band right under that knee that's stationary to give it a little bit more of a hold because sometimes the bands like to roll and that's not always the best. And with this kick back here, don't think about how high you're lifting your leg, only think about the contraction that you're getting in the glutes. So squeeze the glutes to lift the leg. Don't think about trying to kick the leg up into the sky. Whew. Good, here's three, two, and one. Switch it right over to the other side. And here we go. Foot is flexed and we lift.
Nice job. Whew. We're gonna get 30 seconds here. Keep lifting, come on, keep that good form. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Whew. Breathe, awesome. One more set. We've got this one more set and then we're gonna bring it back. Well, we're gonna bring it back to lifting heavy. We're gonna be on the ground for the first exercise and then Romanian deadlift, but let's not move forward. We're sticking here. We've got one more set of kickbacks on each side. 10 seconds out, so bum has had a nice break. Let's bring it down. Again, hands or forearms. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Whether you're on your hands or down on your forearms, think about bringing that belly button in towards your spine here. Squeeze the glutes, remember that squeeze. We're switching it up next. Here it is, three, two, and one. Switch it up and over, let's lift. Good. Exhale with that contraction. That contraction comes at the top of that leg lift. Right there you breathe out. Almost there. And then we get nice 45 seconds to rest before we finish out our last superset combo for lower body Good, three, two, and one. Awesome, Whew. Here we're gonna need our dumbbells. We're going back into a glute bridge. We're gonna superset that with a Romanian deadlift. So have your dumbbells ready for that. We're gonna move quick because we're gonna be on the ground and then we're gonna have to come right up for that Romanian, uh, yeah, Romanian deadlift. So again, you can keep your band on for this, add a little extra oomph. Let's grab our weights and let's get ready. 15 seconds out. So dumbbells, you can have one or two right on the hips for the glute bridge. Band is right above the knees. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift and squeeze back down. Good, get that squeeze at the top, hold it. Again, think about the glute muscles contracting. Exhale at the top and then control it down. Come right back up. Down and squeeze. Ooh. Almost there, we're gonna bring it straight up to that Romanian deadlift. Here it is, three, Two and one. Bring it up. Feet about shoulder or a little bit wider. And here we go. Take it down nice and slow and then squeeze up. Whew. Now Romanian deadlift is a little bit more of a compound move. So you may feel this in the hamstrings as well, but just make sure as you lower down and you come back up, think about the glute muscles here, squeeze and then down, back stays flat, dumbbells stay close to the legs, up, good, and shoulders roll down and back, so keep that upper body relaxed. Almost there, then we'll have one more superset for that combo. Good, here it is, three, two, and one. Oh my word, we're doing it, we've almost made it. Bum's feeling good, am I right? This is awesome. We are 
We're rocking it and we are so close now. So final superset for the glutes. We're gonna bring it back down for the glute bridge. Final exercise, that Romanian deadlift. Then all about the abs. So bring it down. Let's finish strong here. We've got five seconds, so roll it back. We go in three. Here's two and one. Let's lift. Squeeze, hold it at the top and then down. Weight stays in the heels. If you are using that band, make sure that band has pressure on it. You don't want that band to let your knees fall towards your midline. So think about keeping those knees in line with your toes here. RDL next. Here it is. Down and up, hold it for three, two, and one. Right up, Romanian deadlift. Move quick, we got 45 seconds of work to finish this out. Shoulders rolled down and back, and let's go. Good, exhale comes right here as you squeeze up. And make sure you're not over gripping your dumbbells. Those dumbbells are just hanging in the fingertips right now. Almost there. Less than 10. Here it is, three, two, and one. Awesome, dumbbells are out. No more dumbbells, no more band. This is no equipment, no repeat for these last four supersets for abs. We're gonna be on the ground the entire time. Modifications for a few of the exercises for planks and such. Um, and then if there's any other modifications for the crunches, I'll walk you through those while we're doing the exercises. So let's bring it down, talk about our first superset, get ready to go. First exercise is going to be legs at tabletop, and we're gonna alternate dropping that heel down. Then we're gonna keep the legs at this 90 degree tabletop and reach for the heels. So that's the superset, heel drops first. Here we go in three, two, and one, drop it down. Now with these heel drops, make sure that low back is staying pressed into the mat. So if you find that lowering that leg all the way to the ground to tap that heel is causing your low back to arch up, don't take that drop down quite as low. Just take it down as low as you can while maintaining that good form of keeping that low back pressed into the mat. So as soon as you start to arch your back and that low back comes off the mat, we're not working the abs anymore. We're working the hip flexors when we keep that low back pressed into the mat, that core is staying tight. We're working the abs. We're almost there, so we're gonna do those heel taps next with our fingertips. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Keep the legs up, 90 degree bend. Get those shoulder blades up, reach for the heels. Really get those shoulder blades up. Exhale as you come up with this crunch. Minimize the space between your ribs and hips. Good, if you find keeping those legs up is too hard, reach up. Just doing that crunch with your feet planted on the ground. We've almost made it. Remember, only one time through for each ab exercise. We're gonna get 30 seconds of rest. I'll go over that next superset. And then we'll go right into it. Almost there with this one. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Ooh, breathe. Ooh, bring the legs in, tuck them in. Abs are working hard. We're getting ready now to hit the obliques. We're gonna do a side plank hip drop, one of my favorites, and then we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna work one side, and then the other modification, you will see on screen that bottom knee is gonna be down. Ooh, eight seconds out, getting ready to go. Here it is, get those hips up. And we're gonna drop the hips in three, two, and one. Drop it down, squeeze it up. Drive those hips up, good. Down and squeeze.
When it gets tough, remember, abs here, just one time through each. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Switch it over right away to that other side. Ooh, bring it down, and here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. So really think about bringing those obliques up, driving that hip towards the sky. Squeeze, good. Keep that body long and strong. Still thinking about bringing that belly button in towards your spine. Almost there. Ah. Here it is. Three, two, and one. I love that for the obliques. Can you feel them working? Oh, so good. We're going into a reverse crunch and then into a bicycle crunch. So let's bring it back. 15 seconds out and we go. Whew. With the reverse crunch, you have the option to bring those legs down, tap the heels, or just bring the legs down. Whatever it is, just keep that low back pressed into the mat. Hands right next to your hips. Here we go in three, two, and one. So really get the hips up and then down. Really get that crunch. Get those hips up, squeeze, and then down. So if you're not doing that heel drop, just bring the hips or bring the heels down just a little bit and then rock right back up into that crunch. Bicycle crunch next. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Bicycle crunch. Here we go. Modification with the bicycle crunch. You can keep those heels down. Just do that twist. If not, using the arms, using the legs, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Really get that twist. Breathing. Woo. One more superset and we have made it. Oh, that sounds so good, doesn't it? You have worked so hard today. You've done awesome. And I tell you what, you're gonna see those changes. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Final superset. We're gonna plank it out. We're gonna do a plank with an alternating rear leg lift. And then we're gonna do superset that with plank rocks. So you'll see a modification on screen to keep your knees down and do that. We are 10 seconds out. So let's get ready. Roll it over, plank on the forearm. Modification, knees down, here we go. Three, two, and one. Lift those legs. Getting the core and the glutes now. Make sure shoulders, elbows in line here. Body strong and straight. Squeeze the glutes as you lift. Hold it up in the air. You'll feel that core activate as you have that single leg balance with that leg up, but then you'll also feel the glute working because of that lift. Foot stays flexed. Plank rock next. So we'll let the knees come down for just a quick second. We'll bring it up and then we'll finish with that plank rock. I am challenging you today, for real. And you've got this. Here it is, three, two, and one. Drop it down for just a second. Press it back, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna do plank rock here in three, two, and one. So bring it up into plank, get that solid plank, and then just start to rock forward a little bit onto the toes, and then press those heels back towards the wall. Right in between these two. Drive those heels back, 
Rock it forward on the toes. Belly button towards spine, body strong and straight. Again, down on the knees for modification, just holding that plank. We're almost there. Come on, squeeze it, you got it. Breathing, here it is. Three, two, and one. Oh, my, oh, you made it. You are amazing. That was awesome. Way to go. That was glutes and abs. I don't know about you, but I love that combo. And if your abs and glutes are feeling it, make sure to just give the like button a high five. Let me know. And if you want a serious finisher, for the abs, I have got a five minute finisher for your abs, check that out. I love you so much, thank you for joining me. You are the bomb.